The Israeli forces will consider this a major success. From the air, they attacked and destroyed the home of Sheikh Nizar Rayan. He was killed outright with members of his family in this huge blast. A proponent of suicide bombings, and as a senior religious and military Hamas leader, he would have been at the top of the target list. It'll be a blow to Hamas, and they will want revenge. The Israeli government, though, insists it's hitting specific targets. A parliament building, the justice ministry, just two of a number. And while they were without question the target, around them other buildings are reduced to rubble as well. Bombs don't discriminate between who gets hit and who doesn't. Hamas rockets don't discriminate either, and they've been firing them into Israel. Southern Israel has been turned into a potential launch pad for the Israeli army. They're massed in fields with tanks and artillery. But we travelled beyond their lines towards the border with Gaza. Down here, there's an eerie silence. There's no civilians, there are no cars. The checkpoint to Gaza appears deserted. It isn't, though. Israeli soldiers are patrolling the border area looking for Hamas fighters trying to cross into Israel. This point is within easy sniper range of Gaza. Those houses a few meters away, perfect cover. Any movement is fired upon from lookout posts. We're at the Kisafim crossing point. This is as near to Gaza as you can get at the moment. We're not allowed into Gaza. It is just behind me. There is a military checkpoint just here. There's a drone in the sky, and we've had a fair amount of firing in the last few minutes. Uh, a patrol came past earlier and said to us that there were what they believed to be Hamas uh, fighters trying to cross here to get into Israel proper. It's impossible to know whether that's the case, but it's very, very strange here. There's absolutely nobody apart from the odd soldier. The roads around here are absolutely deserted. The whole area is deadly quiet. Away from the tension of what could soon be a battlefield, the Israeli foreign minister has traveled to France for meetings. She's described it as a briefing exercise, but France is trying to broker a deal. President Sarkozy is due here next week. Israel, however, remains determined to hit Hamas hard. We mean business, and our aim is to change the circumstances totally. So the new year in Gaza and southern Israel has begun as the old one finished. With the noise of jets, bombs and rockets thundering across the region, day and night. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, on the Gaza-Israeli border.